Hey, it's Jordan and Carrie from OESD, and today we're here to show you an amazing work of art, a first of its kind collaboration between Thomas Kincaid Studios and the amazing digitizers here at OESD. Plus, stay tuned for a special discount on the stabilizers you'll want to have on hand for this project. This is such an exciting launch and one that has been in the works for a really long time. Many of you are probably familiar with Thomas Kincaid and he's certainly one of my favorite artists. Thomas Kincaid is referred to as the painter of light and his paintings showcase simple pleasures and inspirational messages. During the process of art selection for this amazing tiling scene, Everett's Cottage, the cutest thing I learned was that the original painting was named after Thomas's daughter Everett. He completed the original on her first birthday and then he still had time for the party. <laughs> I guess so. Now, that makes this even more special, doesn't it? It does. So let's take a moment and look at this amazing tiling scene a little bit more closely. Now, full disclosure, Carrie wasn't really sure about this when I pitched the idea of working with Thomas Kincaid Studios, but... Say you it. were right. There we I was go. just worried we wouldn't do his work justice. I had faith, but knowing how talented our digitizers are, I was still blown away when they showed us the completed project. This was a month-long labor of love for the digitizing team. Isn't it incredible how they captured the light in this interpretation of the painting? Yeah. As much as I hate to admit you are right, you were so right on this one. I think I said that three times now. I was so, going to say twice in one yeah, video. Absolutely. It's not as complex as it looks to create, no. but it is a true heirloom project. It's not any more difficult to execute than any of our other tiling scenes, yep. and we have some amazing education on creating tiling scenes. We'll put the links for that below us and in the class descriptions. Cool. Also, to make your life easier, we've put together a thread kit. Now, there are 50 colors in this project. Yep. It's a pretty impressive um, thread kit. It's a lot of thread, but it doesn't it look like it would take way more colors than that? I know, but it's really only 50, and they fit perfectly in this great box that holds 50. <laughs> so even if you have a stash of isocord at home, this is going to help you stay organized while stitching, and I can't re recommend it enough. This is where isocord and its 423 colors really shines. Substituting anything else is just not going to work out. You'll have sad and gloomy Everett's Cottage. <laughs> yeah, you'll lose the glow. You'd be amazed how long the digitizers ag agonize over each shade. They put so much effort into picking the right True. hues for every leaf and cloud, and it really shows. Also, something to know is that you'll only use one 1,000 meter cone for each tiling scene. So we get that question a lot. Yep. You won't need any more than one spool of any one color. So the thread kit is going to create at least one complete tiling scene. Correct. Yeah, so like Carrie said, this isn't a hard project to execute. Um, it's important though that you have the right stabilizer and you prep your fabric appropriately. So as always, our tiling seams come with full color instructions. And while we know many of you have your own techniques for different projects, or maybe some things that you think are the best way to do it, if you follow our instructions to the letter, we guarantee that you'll have stitching success. Yeah, you don't want to invest all the time stitching only to find out that something didn't work out quite right because you didn't want to waste stabilizer. A few things to remember, no. all hoops are not created equally, so what works for you might not work for all. So we write our instructions based in a, on a way that will work for the most people. Yeah, exactly. And again, we don't normally say play by the rules, but every once in a while we say please play by the rules. Right. Um, just because we want you to have access, you're going to invest a lot of time into this and there's nothing more frustrating than having a tile that doesn't work out perfectly right. So, follow the instructions. Um, speaking of, there are loads of stitches in these tiles, which is why each tile is only 5 by 7 So we get asked all the time, why don't we make the tiles bigger and then you can put um, you know, you have fewer tiles to put together. And really, the simple reason is that there's so many stitches in this, we don't want any more stitches in the hoop, because the more stitches in the hoop, the greater the margin of error. Um, more stitches can also cause more shifting and pulling, especially if your tile isn't stabilized well or if your hoop isn't that tight. Absolutely. On that topic, we don't recommend putting a bunch of tiles in a hoop at one time. More tiles equal more stitches, which can cause pulling and shifting. Yep. Also, we get the question all the time. Can I just butt the tiles up next to each other in the hoop and then I don't have to stitch them together? And the answer is no. No. 
Our digitizers create feathered stitches that actually go past the seam lines and that prevents you from having any bare spots after assembly. If you see here, you can see the stitching actually extends past the tile. So again, we do have a class which we've linked below which covers all the specifics of that. Yep. Speaking of stabilizer, we wanted to make sure you had the recommended stabilizer on hand to stitch out Everett's Cottage. So we're putting heavyweight, tearaway, and fusible woven on sale 20% off. We'll leave this sale up for a week. Woohoo! So you can stock up on your stabilizer for tiling scenes. Again, all the different sizes, 10, 15, 20 inch uh, for your um, tearaway, and then of course 15 and 20 for your fusible woven. Mm -hmm. So that's the special we were talking about, and it's a really great deal. Yeah. Now the other great thing about this collection is that it's not seasonal. Yeah. A lot of our tiling scenes are Christmas themed or Halloween uh, themed, and in theory, that means that you probably want to get it done by that appropriate holiday. It does come around every year though. Yeah, so if not 23, 24. <laughs> but the great thing about this tiling scene is because it's not seasonal, you can get it done whenever you do. So one less thing that you have to feel behind about. Yeah, it does take some time to stitch though. So I'm gonna go start stitching. If you don't mind, would you make me one as well? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> In any case, thanks for spending some time with us. We can't wait to see you all stitch out this amazing work of art. And so many thanks to Thomas Kincaid Studios. Yeah, we're really excited about this one. So from all of us here at OESD, of course, happy stitching. <laughs>